What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, I want to talk about Archon mods today. Now that everyone that didn't transmute them but has access to them potentially now, I'm more comfortable talking about them, making builds with them going forward. So, we're going to talk about how I think they're actually underwhelming today, and I think that DE should buff at least some of them to some degree. And also, I think the idea of Archon mods is a good idea, but I think they picked some actually kind of bad choices for the first Archon mods. We're actually going to go really, really detailed, so grab a drink and we're just going to talk a bunch. So I hope you like the sound of my voice, because you're going to hear a lot of it if you're watching this video. Also check out the live stream channel, we will be live later tonight with some Warframe and maybe some Destiny 2. And then tomorrow we'll be live with the Archon triple, not triple, the final Archon hunt. Uh, I think it's called Amir, it's going to be the Snake Archon, so expect a guide on that on the channel. Later in the day. Okay, so Archon mods. We're going to briefly go over what these are if you don't know what they are. Uh, so you can get access to this little spot right here if you've beaten the New War. And there's going to be a Veil Breaker quest after the New War. I'm not sure if that requires Angels of Zeramon as well, but <clears throat> you'll get it after the New War. Uh, you come over here. There's these special call missions I've been making guides on. Complete them to get stock. You can get up to 105 stock per week by completing every challenge. And I'm making challenge guides on the... The mission. So if you need to know how to do those, go watch my challenge guides. But basically, do all these, you get stock. Uh, completing the mission without doing any challenges will just give you a rank for this syndicate right here. And Archon mods are available at, I think, rank 2 of the syndicates. Actually, call it rank 3 of the syndicate. So you got Archon Continuity, Stretch, Intensify, Vitality, and Flow currently. I'm not sure if they're going to add any more. Uh, and we're going to go over what these do, and then we're going to talk about why I think they need to be buffed. They're a little bit underwhelming. So the first one's called Archon Continuity. It's got increased duration by 55%, so the same stats as Prime Continuity maxed out. Uh, but additionally, we've got a little bonus on the bottom. Abilities that inflict a Toxin status effect will also apply a Corrosive status effect. So, all of these, besides one of them, is going to be tied to one of the four base elementals. There's the base elemental of Toxin, Cold, Electric, and Heat. So, as you see right here, here's the Electric one. This one's gonna be like just like stretch, called Archon Stretch, but instead of just being stretch, it gives you a special thing where abilities that deal electric damage restore two energy a second over five seconds. So two energy a second over five seconds is really really low. Um, that's basically ten energy from like over five seconds. Now it does reproc from the electricity, and usually electricity is damage over time focused, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, just you know, not a really powerful effect. And as we can see right here, the drain of this mod is 16, where normal stretch is 9. So we're going up 7 more mod drain for 2 energy a second, and only on hyper-specific frames. Now when we start, like, okay, it gives you a bonus. Now we start reading what the bonuses do. We're like, ooh, bunch more mod drain for that? So if we actually focus on what we're looking at here, toxin status effects will apply a corrosive status effect. Have you used a corrosive status effect recently? They have nerfed corrosive status effects like, for years. Like, corrosive status effects ain't it anymore, dude. Not to mention, hyper to uh, toxin is even more hyper-focused than, than electric. At least we have a couple electric frames. We got Gyre, we got Volt. Uh, I think, yeah, Vobon's little electric balls should work too. But then you look at, what do we have for toxin? Oh, yeah, Saren's the main toxin frame. Oh, wait, Saren's 3 doesn't work with Archon uh, continuity. Oh, you know what does work? Saren's 2 detonation. So if you're detonating Saren's 2, you can get one corrosive proc. But look at that. Saren's 1 is like corrosive procs like crazy. With my build, 99% status chance. Why do, why do I need one more toxin proc on my Saren build? The answer is I don't. I don't need it. I'm not going to be running this mod on Saren. I'm not going to even max that mod out because that mod is bad. So, and we're going to go even further here. So, okay, that's bad. At least it, you know, at least it has a fun little bonus on it. The bonus doesn't even go up with rank. If I was to max out this, this Archon uh, continuity right now, that doesn't give me, like, two Toxin procs at max level. It gives me one Toxin proc. Leveling these mods up, unless you really are hurting for the stats, is not necessary at all. Because I'm not going to use this. It, it, it's just, it's a worse, ver not worse, but it's a non-prime continuity, but I believe it has more mod drain. It might be the exact same mod drain, actually. Let me check. Continuity. Okay, so it's two more mod drain the prime continuity, the same amount of duration, and a completely useless passive that only works on, like, Grendel and Lavos. And it's not like Grendel and Lavos are having any problems. They're like, oh, man, if only I had a corrosive proc right now. If you look at my Thoros Strike Nidus, my Nidus 
Thoro strikes and removes all armor in one hit. He ain't need no corrosive procs. Corrosive procs cannot remove enemy armor fully. That was something that was uh, changed in, I believe it's called like, Warframe Revised in like 2020 or 2021. Dude, corrosive procs are like nothing. They should change this, Archon Continuity. That should be something that's actually useful because what it is right now is not useful to anyone. So maybe make it where when a, a viral proc is applied, also will apply a corrosive proc. I don't know. What, how about vice versa? When a corrosive proc is applied, a viral is applied. Now that would just make Saren OP, but I think we're, we're kind of getting at the, the issue here where this mod is useless. I don't think anyone's going to be using this one specifically. And we'll go with the other ones too. Like I said, there's a couple of them that aren't very good, um, but you got to think about how, how long it takes you to get to this. I'm not trying to look for a direct replacement of Prime Continuity, but this is too specific. Maybe make it where the, the uh, elemental effect applies to weapons too. Uh, toxin damage from weapons also applies to corrosive status effect. You know, you already nerfed corrosive, so it's not like I'm going to use it anyway, but at least that'd be more interesting. And that actually would make some of these other ones good too. Archon Stretch. I'm never going to use this on Saren. Saren doesn't do electric damage, right? There's there's no reason to put this on, on Saren. It gives me, uh, you know, the same amount of range as this. It takes a lot more drain. Putting this on Saren is just dumb. Like, there's no reason to do this because it does nothing. The, the bonus is way too specific. Only electric-based frames. Now, there's a couple of abilities that you can get electric damage from for Helminth, but are you going to really use your Helminth slot for two energy regens per second? No, you're not. You're not. Um, now, let's go over some of these other ones. Now, there's two. these two right here, Archon Vitality and Archon Tensile. I actually have specific problems with those. I think that these were added way too late in Warframe's life cycle. You know why that is? Because we've had multiple years of Umbra Forma being available from various sources. Right here, I'm looking at our Umbral Intensify, and I'm, I'm thinking, I regret Umbra forming my Saren. You know why? Because they added a power crept version of Intensify after the fact. And if I want to put this on my Saren, which, you know, it's, it's also pretty specific what frames you use this on. It has to, Archon Intensify, 30% uh, increased ability strength, restore health with an ability, grants 30% additional ability strength for 10 seconds. So it becomes 60% from one mod slot with no downside, this is besides the ridiculously high drain. Intensify is 44%, so we're getting 16% power strength, which not, might not sound like a big deal to you, but these mods are made for min-maxers in the first place. That's why they, we, they're so late game, they have so much drain, uh, they have hyper-specific like, you know, applications and stuff like that. I think that this mod, Archon Intensify, should have not been an Intensify mod. You could have made it like Archon, Archon Overload or something, where it, it gives you the 30% bonus, and also it's the same mod with a different name because the fact that this is another Intensify, I don't like that in 2022. I think that an Umbra Intensify has been out for way too long. It's a slap in the face people that Umbra form of their frames. Like for example, Umbral, uh, or Ar Archon Intensify is just straight up better on Wisp. It's straight up better on Wisp than Umbral Intensify. Like yeah, you'll get a couple extra points. Like where's, where's my tank build? Right here. So like, actually I apparently got rid of the tank build because of Archon Intensify. Awesome, awesome DE. So let's look at the one right here, kind of tank. So we've got Umbral Vitality and Umbral Intensify. I sometimes go for a triple Umbra build on my, what is this build? I sometimes go for a triple Umbra build on my Wisp. Um, and you know what, that, that completely is like defeated because the, the main one that is used nowadays is Umbral Intensify. No one cares about armor. Okay, maybe no one is a little bit of an exaggeration. The, the vast majority of min-maxers don't care about armor or health because they fall off really fast. Anaros dies in 25 minutes on the Steel Path, even with 10,000 health, just saying. So the only one that's actually used is Umbra Intensify, which only requires one Umbra Forma. But then would you look at that? If I want to put Arcan Intensify on my build, because it's just better on Wisp, Wisp health modes proc Arcan Intensify. It just, it's just good. Even, even increasing your teammate's health or your health procs Arcan Intensify. It is strictly better than Umbra Intensify without a full Umbra set. And then, But even at that, if I was to put the full Umbra set on this build, which I believe I could fit on here, we go to 77% ability strength. But look, we're using three mod slots to achieve that. So the rest of those slots are used for, air quotes, dead stats and endurance runs. And Archon Intensify will not be a dead stat and endurance run at all because it's, if you're playing with specifically, it's going to basically be always active. And you have big breach surge damage, big wisp motes, all that good stuff. So I think that this should have, they, they still can do this, I guess. They could change this to a different type of power strength mod because also if you look at power strength mods we have available to us. Most of them are, uh, well, a lot of them are actually like, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, corrupted mods. So they have a downside and a positive side. These, there's really not that many power strength mods in this game. We have like, what, like four or five of them? Uh, we have, you know, Augur Secrets. We've got uh, that new Amar mod that has no downside but gives pitiful stats. We've got uh, 
Blind Rage, and we've got Transient Fortitude. And then I'm probably forgetting about like one. Uh, energy Conversion. For the most part, you know, these have downsides that are bad enough. They can hurt some stats in your build a lot. Uh, and they also have 16 drain, just like this thing. This thing also has a, you know, it's the proc criteria. It, unless you're healing, this is doing just normal intensify stuff. Same stats as normal intensify, basically. Um, so I think that this could definitely change. Um, and specifically, I just don't think that this, I think that adding this specifically, like, eight years in, or like three years after Umber Forma, was kind of a slap in the, place, uh, slap in the face of the players. The Vitality, one, on the other hand, like I said, it's not at, viewed as a very a good stat for endurance missions, so I could easily just throw this on here and not feel bad. Okay, I, I get 40 extra health points instead of, like, 400. whoop de doo uh, If it's a Toxin proc, I'm going to die anyway at high levels anyway. Um, so they could have maybe made this a different type of mod as well, but I don't really think that this is stepping on the toes of Umbral Vitality, like Arc Intensify stepping on the toes of Umbral Intensify. So not as big of a deal. This one probably has one, probably the coolest bonus, too. Not really any, like, hyper-specific loops, uh, hoops to jump through. Heat status effects from abilities uh, deal heat procs twice. Really good with Protea, decent with Ember. Uh, you know, you can find lots. And it also works on, like, frames like Excalibur's Exalted Sword, uh, Mesa's Pistols, you mod those for heat damage. So it can be really good. This is most likely the best one to everybody out there that, you know, heat damage is pretty powerful, too. Um, so, yeah, I don't think this one's a problem, really, besides, like, the whole mod name it being a Vitality mod. But I think that situation is just me making that up in my head. So... Um, yeah, as far as like, you know, what would I do to buff each of these individually? I could go over that uh, real quick just because I, I do have ideas for it already and we can just briefly talk about them. So for Archon Stretch, um, I think that this energy regen should work on your teammates. Um, if it does work on your teammates, it doesn't say it on here. Uh, it's, it, you know, it's, if it's going to be a low amount of energy regen like that, it's pretty much a Wisp only, Wisp, Volt, and kind of Gyre only mod. Um, but at least if it was for, if you put this on Wisp, you made it for your team, you'd be also energy buffing with Wisp. Pushing Trinity's face down in the dirt a little bit harder, uh, you know, Wisp is doing that already. So that'd be kind of cool. Um, maybe make it for electric damage from weapons too, uh, because electric damage on weapons is not a very like you know highly used stat for a lot of players. I, I find like look at it. you look at your let's look at the Kuva Nucor build. Are you modding your Kuva Nucor for viral heat or viral electric? Did you know you could mod it for viral heat and or viral electric? You have the choice if you're doing a viral build with two stats. Uh, well, you do, and nobody is which Nucor do I want to show you. Nobody is doing Viral Electric. Everyone is doing Viral Heat. Because you know why? Heat removes armor. Heat is a, uh, a crowd control status effect. Heat has a good damage over time math. It's just it's just good. Um, electric also stuns, but Electric doesn't have any you know, armor removal or anything like that. So Heat is generally favored a lot higher. But you, you could technically just go for a Viral Electric on here if you wanted to. You know, if they were giving me the benefit of energy regen per second from using an Archon mod, which drains 16 drain, and I have to change my new core build, I'm, I'm going to be thinking about it at least. And if it works for my teammates, you know, they might be like, hey, make sure you put that Archon stretch on in the first place. So I think making this one work for your teammates, make it work for uh, weapon damage could be pretty cool too. Um, maybe even make it like specifically, specifically just from secondary damage or something. Secondary, uh, war from abilities or secondary damage procs this and work for your teammates. That would be a nice little buff. Uh, but this is one people are already using, even though it does, it is pretty weak. Um, it's, you know, Stretch is a pretty heavily used mod, and, you know, Volt is pretty popular. So, decently, uh, decent already, but could be better for sure. Archon Flow, 275% uh, increased energy max. Enemies killed by cold abilities have 10% chance to drop an energy orb uh, cool down 10 seconds. People were trying to tell me this works with uh, weapon damage. It does not. Um, so, it has to be cold ability damage kills. So, it's not even just, like, damaging them with it. So, very, very specific who you use this on. It's going to be either Frost or... Or it's going to be some kind of like thermal sunder setup uh, from Helmuth, the Gauss ability. Oh, I guess additionally also Mirage, Explosive Ledger Main build in Elite Sanctuary Onslaught. That does cold damage sometimes too. So that's like, what, three specific situations? Um, and in those situations, this would be good. You know, getting an energy orb is nice. Um, the cooldown is kind of kind of long, 10 seconds. And also 10% proc chance just looks bad on the card. Uh, as far as how I would buff this one... Um, you can make it where it's cold abilities or cold damage from weapons could be pretty good. Make it where maybe a cold Kuba or epitaph would just be power crep, but at the same time it have to be a kill from the epitaph. So you know, getting a cold weapon damage kill could be something that's not happening very often. I mean, I'm I already have it on frost. You know, I already have it on frost, so it's not like it's not going to be right on frost. If you have the mod space on frost, that is because. Actually, Frost is doing a little bit better after that buff, so that's nice for him. But, you know, it's on here right now. I use my Avalanche. I kill, like, ten enemies or whatever. Um, or who, who knows how many enemies I kill? 
One in ten was gonna drop an energy orb. That's good for Frost. Pick up the energy orb, get my energized proc, recast my abilities. Good for him. But you know, I've always thought that Frost could be like the, the cold proc master. And this mod seems very clearly made for Frost. It's got, even got Frost in the picture of it. Um, so make it where cold damage works on this too from weapons. Uh, maybe even make Biting Frost the idea I had months ago, where it's like every cold proc on the enemy gives you increased crit and crit damage up to a cap or whatever. Um, yeah, just make Frost the Ice Overlord and make this work for cold damage because cold damage is not modded for our weapons pretty much at all, unless it's like slowing down a demolist, honestly. So going with the last couple here, I don't really think I would change Archon uh, Vitality, really. Um, you could make... It, it, this might be the one we don't make, make it work on weapons because we already mod our weapon for heat all the time. Making this work with heat would just be super busted. Uh, you know, like double heat proc Kuba Nucor, double heat proc, like whatever. Like there are some pretty nasty heat procs and weapons in this game. Double heat proc Phantasma. How about that? Um, that's, that not a lot of work on weapons. That would just be broken. Um, it already is kind of broken on Protea, but you know, whatever. Um, maybe make it where it's not a vitality mod. Just another health mod that we can jam for a Naros. Cause maybe I would use an Anaros with some heat helmet ability. I don't know. I'm always thinking about Anaros, right? Um, Archon Continuity, I already briefly talked about this one. I think just change the stat select in general. Abilities that inflict a... Uh, okay, let's make this one work with weapons if we're going to keep with Corrosive and Toxin. Honestly, dude, just buff Corrosive procs. Make Corrosive procs able to fully strip enemy armor. Or at least make them stack with the armor changes we have right now. So my idea is Corrosive Projection is 18% removal of armor. That's the Aura mod. I believe Corrosive procs from weapons can do 80% armor removal... Make these stack together, where it's like, okay, I I don't I don't get the full twenty from this, but I've, if I want co coaction drift, maybe that would be a reason to pe have people take off uh, prime sure footed de. I put coaction drift on here. Now my aura effectiveness is stronger. It should be to twenty percent. So the twenty percent from coaction drift and corrosive projection, mix that with the uh, corrosive procs from wherever. I mean, not just arcan intensify or arcan continuity. That would be technically a way to fully strip enemy armor with a toxin damage weapon. Uh, and a corrosive per one corrosive projection, so it could be kind of interesting there. Um, the funny thing too is like corrosive uh, is useless against corpus for the most part because they don't have shields, and toxin bypasses them. So it's like this is just worthless on corpus. I mean they have like one or two en uh, armored enemies, the oxium ospreys, but I mean why am I running arc? Why, why would I run archon continuity for a couple ospreys, right? It, it, and that's me even like making up like a goofy idea in my head where it's like okay it actually is good. This mod, this ability su this mod sucks. Pretty much only good on Grendel. And I wouldn't even call it good on Grendel. It's bad. Just a bad month. The worst one of the bunch. Uh, which ones did we not go over yet? So I'd say buff this one like a lot. Maybe just even full, maybe even just fully rework it, honestly. Um, if, if you want to leave it as Toxin, make it do something. Like toxin applies Viral. Or Toxin applies Corrosive and Viral. Make it completely screw them up or something. And make it work from weapons. And for the last one, Arcan Intensify, my biggest thing here would be just make it not an Intensify mod. Make it some kind of new mod. Make it like Archon's Hatred, you know? Like, they got Amar's Hatred. Uh, it's the it's the fully rank, uh, ramped up version of that because I'm I, I don't want to reform my frames to take off Umbra Forma. That is just a feels bad with how limited Umbra Forma are. Yeah, it's once every eight weeks now from Teshin. But like, dude, are you gonna really wait? Are you gonna unformal your frame? Like, what I basically have to do now is if I want to do like the thing I was just talking about on Wisp, I have to build a new Wisp. I have to build a second Wisp that doesn't have Umbra Forma on it. I don't want to waste my Umbra Polarity for like this kind of build. You know, like. A really high strength kind of build with Arcan Intensify. This is a dead slot right here. What am I going to throw in there? Oh, I guess I'm going to throw on some extra health. Yeah, that sure helped me a lot. My health modes give me like a thousand health in the first place. So, you know, I, I think that these were added way too late in the game. Um, they should change the names of them and maybe even add some more Archon mods while we're at it. You know, a big part of this is like, okay, I have, I have a dead um, uh, Umbra Polarity on here now. Why is there no, no, where's my Umbra stretch? Where's my Umbra flow? Where's my Umbra continuity, right? These are things that could have been used for the Umbra polarity. Or heck, even make the Archon mods Umbra polarity. I don't think that would make any sense lore-wise. But does an Umbra polarity make any sense lore-wise in the first place? Does an Archon mod make any sense in the first place? Probably not. I'm not a lore expert, but I'm, I, I don't think that... Does the Witch Hat on Wisp make any sense lore-wise? No, it doesn't. But it makes them money, and it makes the players happy. So that's all that really matters. Okay, guys? Let me know how you felt about this video down in the description or in the comments down below. Um, I was just like, kind of spit. I made all those ideas up for the Archon mods on the spot. I do think they need to be changed though. Um, and the biggest thing to me is the whole like Umbra, make them Umbra polarities or something, honestly. That won't help make everybody happy, 
But, you know, at least for the people that felt burned by the Umbra Forma and the Archon mods, that would maybe alleviate some of that. They're not going to do it anyway. Just spitballing ideas. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Peace.